Hello, and welcome back to another vlog. Uh, thank you to everyone for all the comments and everything that we, you gave last time, uh, and the constructive feedback was uh, really good. Hopefully, will allow me to uh, do some better, better videos for you. Um, today, <laughs> a slight problem with what was supposed to happen is that we're supposed to go to a sports day. Didn't quite happen because of the rain. And what's happened now is instead of that, uh, you'll probably hear, I've decided to come to Boscombe Pier, uh, which is that over in the background. Um, and what I'm gonna do is take some shots from around here. Um, there are lots and lots of groins along here that you can take shots of that'll allow you to do some nice shots with leading lines. Uh, the sea itself, as it's sort of receding, you can get leading lines coming through there which all look really nice and then one of the biggies is as you can probably see behind me in the distance is Boscombe Pier itself so uh, the idea is getting that in the shot you have that sort of sweeping in from one side or the other and then have the, uh, the sea sort of receding out as it, uh, as it goes so what I'll do is I'll get set up find a shot and then uh, I will come back to you. Alright, so I've managed to get myself set up. So what I've done, if I uh, spin you around quickly, is I'm using one of the groins behind me just to uh, act as a leading line and then below that I've got the water as it comes in I'm letting it start to go out and then as it goes out take the shot I'm stuck on a polarizer to cut out any of the glare because uh, although you probably can't see it, it is quite bright so it's uh, quite hazy quite cloudy so the uh, the Sun is just like a massive soft box up there and the idea is that the polarizer will cut out glare on the water. What I've done as well is stuck on a six stop ND filter to uh, try and cut out a lot of the light so I can get a little bit of motion in the water. So the idea is that when the waves come up, I try and take the shot and as they're receding, I'll get a bit of motion in the, uh, in the water as well. So it's all a matter of timing. So it's trying to get the uh, the waves at the right point and as they start to recede take the shot with a combination of the ND filter and the polarizer and setting it to f11 I've managed to get about a sixth of a second and that just gives me enough motion in the water to be able to get it leading you straight back down into the water so once I've taken the shot I'll uh, stick it up on screen for you to have a look So what I've done for this shot, so I've set the camera into portrait and I've got the same filters on, so the polarizer and the six stop ND filter and then F11, ISO 100 and with the light at the moment that's taken that to about an eighth of a second. Uh, it's sort of flitting between a sixth and one second. What I've done as well is I've moved positions, so there's a small rock on the sand and as the water's coming up and going around it it's making these lines in this water. What I'm probably going to have to do, as I avoid the water, is stack this. Once I've stacked them, everything from front to back should be in focus. I've done enough here. What I'm going to do is move on over to the pier and take some shots over there. So I will see you in a moment. side of the pier I'm using the pier itself as a leading line so it's basically coming in from the right hand side I might go around the other side and do the same thing just to see which I prefer but I've got the 10 stop filter on to basically bring down the uh, the shutter speed and allow me to smooth out the water uh, it's relatively calm at the moment anyway but it just helps make it nice and smooth 
Uh, some people like it, some don't. I like it. Um, I've then got a two-stop ND grad just to bring down this sky and then a polarizer as well just to cut out the glare on the water. So the idea is that I've got like a 13 second exposure and with the uh, the effect of the clouds in the sky it should make for a nice shot. I'm stuck to uh, f11 I don't need a massive amount of depth of field and chances are most of the pier is going to be in focus anyway. And the only problem I've got with this is the amount of people on the pier so I just have to uh, bide my time and wait for them to sort of clear. The alternative is as long as they keep moving, chances are the camera won't pick them up. But we have got some people sat down. I've taken a few shots of this. Um, so it's, what I've been waiting for is the clouds to sort of move over and it's because it's quite calm today, it's actually quite slow in moving. But as it's coming across, it's making some nice patterns in the sky, which is really cool. So I'm around the other side of the pier now and taking almost the exact same shot. So I've got the 10 stop ND filter, the two stop grad and the polarizer. And then I'm still at F11 and ISO 100, which means I'm getting about 10 seconds for my uh, shutter speed. So the idea is just when there's a bit of sun, take the shot and then see how that comes out. Uh, let me know in the comments if which shot you think is better. So I'm on my way back to the car now. I think um, I'm done here for the moment. Uh, what I'll do is next time I come here, I think I'm probably gonna time it for either early morning to get sunrise or late evening to get sunset. Um, I think those are probably the, the better shots, but I think I've come out with some half decent shots. Um, only time will tell. So for now, unless I find something on the way back, I think that is me done for today. Hopefully you've enjoyed the uh, the video. If you have, uh, hit the subscribe, hit like or dislike, whichever you prefer. Let's try opening the car. And then, uh, yeah, any comments, feel free to make them down below. All right, catch you later. Grad, a six stop grad, uh, six, I've got a grad filter on there. Not no, 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 no. grad, not the grad. Why do I keep saying grad? It's not a grad. Six stop grad, uh, ND filter. Why can't I get that in my head? Mm -hmm.